Hello and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and today let's find out what we have on the hook. I have several things I want to talk about which I always do but today is happy Friday and that is the day when we select our gift recipients for the weekly gifts that I talked about on Monday so I hope everyone went down to the comment section and put in uh, a comment so that they would be in the running for the um, selections for gifts today. So I want to bring that up first, but and we'll be doing that in just a couple of minutes, but I wanted to talk about a couple of things. First, I received some happy mail, which I never talk about, <laughs> but I don't ever get any, which is totally fine. I'm not really into it. I got some cards from um, some of my subscribers of those thank you cards for uh, putting out videos for sending them a gift that they might have won on a on a Friday. So to Melissa, Madonna, and Marsha, thank you so very very much. And Madonna also sent me some um, salted caramel tea. So I'll be trying that later on today. I never talk about the weather because I love the weather. I love the rain. I love the sunshine. But today it is very very rainy, and I had lots of errands to run today. And I got wet several times, and I don't like to wear raincoats, and my umbrella is not very big, so I ended up getting wet <laughs> quite a few times. I was wearing my Cozy Posy sweater, which is a segue into what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my Cozy Posy sweater, and the pattern is out on the Etsy shop. But this is made with Baby Cashmere from Hobium, and it's a beautiful yarn. It's very, very soft. You can wear it all day long and never get uncomfortable. It is really, really nice. Now today, because it's cool outside, I'm wearing a, um, a skin color tank top with it underneath, and it's just perfect. It's not too hot. Now in the winter time, I might wear um, a long, uh, maybe a silk long underwear shirt under this because it does have holes in it. And that's good in the in the um, early spring maybe when the weather's cool and you don't really care about trying to be so warm but it's nice to have a sweater on that's a good thing but in the winter time I like to wear uh, a tank or a long sleeve shirt under a sweater if it has a lot of holes in it like this but I can still feel the air go through the sleeve so I'll probably wear something long sleeve under it or a thin turtleneck under this would be perfect for the winter time so that's probably what I'll be doing um, again, this pattern does not have, and I want to talk about this too, because in the video when I talked about the sweater, I said it didn't have any seams here. It does have seams. There's a seam under here, which sews the front to the back, and a seam here that sews the front to the back. But there are no seams intersecting down here, and that's what I meant by saying there are no seams in this sweater under here. Yes, there is. There's one right there. It's very smooth, though, because you're really doing a continuous row of crochet through here, so there, there aren't any breaks or any seams that go this way. So this particular sweater is made with the sleeve onto the front and the sleeve onto the back, and then they're joined at the top and at the bottom. This one also has a bell sleeve, which turned out very nice. I like it. It's casual. If you put a jacket on, though, you have to... You have to grab it or it'll go way up here. <laughs> I found that out today, but I, I really enjoy wearing it. It's really soft. And I have another one in the works in a different color of the baby cashmere, and I'm going to make it longer. This one, and I'll just show you this because we're all ladies here, but this is too short. I, I made it short on purpose because I thought I wanted a short sweater, but really it rides up because it's just too short. So I will be making my next one a little bit longer. The sleeves are perfect, everything else is just right, but the length was not quite long enough. And that's why I say you should make these patterns, or any patterns, at least twice, because the second time through, you're gonna make a change to it and make it better or fit better or feel better or use a different yarn, a different hook. And on this particular sweater, I will be making it again longer. So now that I've started my other one, it doesn't matter how far I've gotten because I've only gotten about this far and that doesn't matter because I can just make it farther up, you know, make it longer so that the whole piece will be a bit longer there. And then when I sew it together, it will hang farther down. And that's the whole idea behind making a pattern twice, at least twice. Sometimes I make patterns three or four times. And by the fourth time, I'm going really fast. I don't have to really look at the directions that much. 
and I know exactly what I want to do with it and I know exactly how it's going to fit. So that's what I always say, please make a pattern at least twice and that way the second time through you'll have um, the perfect sweater. Now, the other day we talked about the, um, the scarf that I had made out of the Karen Latte Cake and I really like it, I still love it, I wore it around the house uh, for a long time and then I wore it out um, to run some errands the other day and I really like it. It's very very comfortable. I had one lady stop me and say, did you make your scarf? <laughs> Guilty. Yes, I did make my scarf and I, I just really like it. I like it because I like the yarn, but let me tell you I was wearing it over a black sweater and guess what? There was not one hair from the latte cake scarf on that sweater when I took it off that evening. There was not one hair from the scarf. I couldn't believe it. I figured it would be covered with hair and I didn't really check it during the day and I, I would have noticed it probably if it was on the sleeves, but it wasn't. It didn't shed one hair. Now, the reason that, this is not, another person asked me, is this a, is this a halo? And uh, technically it is. I think it's a halo. I mean, you can see it up there but it's done in little tiny threads and so it's not really a fuzzy halo. I'll show you a fuzzy halo. This is Landscapes Yarn by Lion Brand. Dearly love it. I do love it. It doesn't have a huge halo, but it does have somewhat of a halo on them. If you can see that. I wish I could show that better. Maybe you can see that. Um, right along there you can see that there's, there's fuzz. Okay, that's different from this kind of fuzz. This is not really fuzz. This is hairs. Fuzz, hairs. Totally different. Now, I, you will see this come out on a black sweater. This, these, these hairs will appear on your black sweater. <laughs> so maybe you can see them there. I don't know. But there it is. Different kind of halo. And I'm not real wild about this one, but I do love this yarn, Landscapes yarn. It is gorgeous made up. I've done lots of scarves with it, and I bought some last year to make scarves with this year. And this is the color Twilight. This is just one I grabbed out of my stash. I think that is outstanding. I guess it's the blue and the yellow combined. Those are two of my favorite colors together. Um, I have lots of combination favorites, but this is one. I think that is just gorgeous. This is Landscapes by Lion Brand, and I'm pretty sure they still have this color, Twilight. There is the, the colorway, and you can see it. It's mostly yellow and blue. There's a little bit of white and a tiny bit of light blue, but mostly it's these two colors that are the standout colors in this particular yarn. Now, the other day I showed you the Huga yarn, and this is the same type of hairy halo, I guess you could call it, as this. It's not quite as thick as this. The, these, these hairs, there aren't nearly as many hairs here as there are here. And these are quite a bit longer than these. So that's just some comparisons of the different kinds of yarn. And I'm still glad that I made the scarf from this, the latte cake. I've got another one over there. I love it. I'm looking at it and I might have to work on it this weekend, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to finish my cardigan. Now, my cardigan progress, I'll just show you a little piece of it. This is the chartreuse that the body of the, the, the sweater is made from. And I've put a black trim on it and it's a it's going to be um, a, have a little bit of interest on it it's not just going to be plain old uh, double crochets but this is a a nice contrast and that's going to be the sleeve and then the same trim will be around and I'm working on that as we speak so I should be able to get this pattern to you by next week that's my plan I'm also making it from the Vanna's Choice pea green color which is not available but there's one that's similar to it um, out there and the black of course the Vanna's Choice and it's made with a 7.0 uh, millimeter hook that's a clover hook I wish you could see that there it's a little bit better that's a clover hook so it's not very big but it's a little bigger than my usual J so I just wanted to talk about those two things uh, right quick and remind you that Monday is First Responders Day. I do remember that. <laughs> the 28th is First Responders Day. And if you haven't already, be sure to throw a note in the mail to a first responder just to let them know that you appreciate them and or make them a meal or do a donation. 
uh, or just to say thank you to one of them. And I know a lot of you are first responders yourselves, so thank you for your service. I appreciate that. I want to uh, quickly show you what the gift recipients will receive today, and hopefully you will be the winner. So good luck with that. Winner number one will receive two balls of Feels Like Butter. There's something on there. Will receive two balls of Feels Like Butter yarn in the colorway brown. Very pretty, kind of a copper color. Has a little bit of a sheen to it. Not much, it's just real soft. This is real soft and bouncy, very pretty. And it has good stitch definition too. I did notice that when I was making my scarf. Um, that I gave away last week. It, it had good stitch definition. You could see every single stitch and it was so beautiful. Gift recipient number one will receive that. Gift recipient number two will receive the crochet magazine. That's, this is the most current. This is winter 2019. Love it, love it. Everything in here is super duper. And there is a scarf pattern in here that I'm putting in there just for the gift recipient of this particular number two who receives Summer Nights, the number two, uh, I'm sorry, the number one lace weight um, yarn is gorgeous, very, very pretty, a number one lace weight yarn. So it, it is actually, uh, it's called Castaway. I thought that was a neat name. It's 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. So that will be a joy to work with. It's really, really, really pretty. It's actually got a sparkle to it. See the sparkle? That is so nice. That is gift recipient number two, the magazine and the summer nights. Gift recipient number three will receive this thick Simply Crochet magazine. It has a lot of information in it. It is the most recent um, edition of this magazine and also the gift that came with it. It is an Amagurumi little witch, so you might enjoy that. That is gift recipient number three. So let's point the camera to the computer and see who will receive these gifts this week. Okay, so here we are at the computer and I have put the URL for last Monday's video right there. And so let's get our YouTube comments. I did not have a keyword, so don't be worried about that. Everybody's comment will count. Okay, so we're looking at 661 comments for these three gifts. So let's go over here and start and see who wins the two balls of Feels Like Butter yarn in brown. LaDonna Stafford. LaDonna, you are the winner of the Feels Like Butter yarn. So let's pick another winner. LaDonna, congratulations. Let's pick another winner. This gift recipient will receive the Crochet Magazine and the Summer Nights yarn, and that is Susan Martin. Susan Martin, you are the gift recipient number two this week. So let's pick one more winner. This recipient will receive the Simply Crochet Magazine and the Amigurumi uh, kit. And this would be Christine Archibald. Christine, you are the gift recipient number three. Congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to all three gift recipients. I will get those in the mail to you. I have one gift recipient from last week who did not contact me and by Monday if I have not heard from this person I will um, put the gift back into the running and we'll add it on to next week's um, activities. So there you go. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably hole up here because it's going to be raining all weekend and uh, besides going to church I'll probably just be in my living room crocheting and writing patterns and I hope y'all are enjoying your weekend as well and crochet a little bit for yourself. Alright, so join me next time to find out what's on the hook.